Autobots, transform and roll out. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Breadcast Transformers Talk. So have you seen, there have been a slew of new Transformers Siege War for Cybertron figures and Transformers Studios series figures that I've already shown you in a previous video. So it's time to discuss them. Let's start with the newly revealed Studio Series figures, and save the good stuff for last. Just kidding, I love both of these lines equally, so let's get into it. First up we have the Deluxe Class Revenge of the Fallen Constructicon Hightower. I'm gonna say right off the bat that this thing looks very weird, but this is as close as they come to the CGI model for Hightower. His robot mode looks weird, but the construction vehicle form looks really accurate though, and yes, I'm going to say that I'm going to get this guy, and I want this guy because I want that Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, and this guy is a part of it, so yes, I will be getting him. I'm guessing that he will cost the usual deluxe class price of $19.99. Next up we have the Deluxe Class Age of Extinction Drift in his helicopter mode. This is an all around no for me. They went and remolded the Deluxe Class Dropkick and that figure freaking sucks. So I'm just hugely disappointed that they didn't make a new mold for Drift or make him a darn triple changer already. I mean yeah he only uses the helicopter mode maybe two or three times in the movie. But it's a cool mode, and therefore Drift is a triple changer, and they should make a toy that can get as close to accurately portraying all three of Drift modes, you know, especially both of his vehicle modes. Anyway, I really do not like this figure, and I'm not going to be getting this, and this will also have the usual deluxe class price of $19.99. Next one is another disappointment of the Voyager class KSI boss. That's at least what I've heard it called from other people on YouTube who've talked about these newly revealed figures. So if it is KSI boss, then it would be from Age of Extinction, which really doesn't make sense because they used the Nitro Zeus mold from the last night toy line. They didn't even change anything, they just spruced up his paint job a little, and that's it. I never liked the Nitro Zeus mold from the last night toy line, and so I don't have any interest in this figure. I will not be getting it, and it'll have the usual Voyager class price of $29.99. Last studio series we have is the leader class, Dark of the Mooma Optimus Prime. First thing I noticed when looking at him in his total combined form is that the robot mode looks almost exactly like the last or the last Voyager class Optimus Prime, so the so-called 2007 movie Optimus Prime that combines with Jetfire, that one. I don't know if it's true or if they're going to scale up the base figure or if it's a leader class because of the trailer that comes with it. I just don't know where they are coming up with it being a leader class. I'm going to assume it's because of the trailer that comes with it and that trailer looks pretty awesome. I like too that it turns into the weapon stack for Prime with a whole slew of guns and his axe and his sword. And it also turns into his wings as well. This is the powered up movie Prime that looks the best for me. Far better looking than the form of Prime and Chetwing in Revenge of the Fallen. I'm going to assume that this will have the usual leader class price of $49.99, but maybe more because of the trailer, but I don't really know. As cool as it is, I don't plan on getting this one as I recently got a leader class figure in the Siege line, and I barely have room for it. And so I just don't have room for another one of these. Plus I like my 2007 Voyager movie Prime anyways. So that does it for Studio Series figures. There's really only one that I want here, which is a little bit disappointing, but some of these are just not good in my opinion, and I already said I don't have enough space for the Leader Class Prime. So now, let's talk about the newly refigured Siege figures. First up we have Voyager Class Springer. Now I know that they only show one of the vehicle modes, but I have a feeling that he's a triple changer because of the wheels that are visible in his helicopter mode. So I have a feeling that later on we will see his car mode. Either way, this guy looks freaking awesome. 
Everything about this figure looks great. The swords become the rotors of the helicopter as it should. And yeah, he just looks amazing. I'm sure he will have the usual Voyager class price of $29.99. And yes, I'm going to get this guy. Next up, we have the Voyager class Thundercracker. Yes, it is a repaint of Starscream. I don't care. I told myself this would be the line that I would buy three of the same mold. And that's given that I don't even have Starscream yet. And that they're going to do Skywarp. Also, Thundercracker is my favorite Decepticon, so it's obvious that I'm going to get a, this one because it's freaking Thundercracker. This will probably carry the usual Voyager class price of $29.99, and yes, I'm going to be getting it. Next one we have is Deluxe Class Red Alert, which I've we've seen this before, and I think I've talked about it before. It is a remold and repaint of Sideswipe, so it's automatically, in my opinion, a great figure because Sideswipe is a great figure. I don't really like that his car mode light bar becomes like an axe weapon, but what else can you do with it? Uh, we'll most likely have the usual deluxe class price of $19.99. I don't know if I'm going to get this because I already have a red alert figure that... I got a few months back at a Comic Con, but perhaps having an updated one would be nice maybe, I don't know. I'll figure it out when this thing comes out. The last one we have is one that I know I showed and talked about, and that's the Leader Class Cybertron Optimus Prime. Yes, I still like it, and I'm glad to see some better images of the figure. As I've said, Transformers Cybertron is one of my favorite Transformers shows. I was never able to get that Prime when you know the show was still on so even though this is a repaint and remold of the leader class ultra magnus which is a fantastic figure by the way i've always wanted a cybertron optimus prime and so i am going to get this with regard that yes it'll have the user usual leader class price of 49.99 but i don't care so that's going to do it for siege figures at least three out of four figures I like here and I'm really wanting to get. Red Alert I'm still not sure on. It's not bad. I just don't know if I want another Red Alert figure as I don't have that much attachment to the character. Like he's not my favorite and not my least favorite. It's just kind of stuck in the middle if that makes sense. That's all I have to say so if you want to add to the conversation leave a comment below. As always thanks for listening and goodbye.